Matt Corlow's here. Elizabeth Mansfield. Nick Bradlock. question I have is in regards to the changes. Just wanted to know some background in regards to them and, and what was the reaction to the businesses that were in in the different parking lots uh, changing the times and just out of curiosity the, the significant increase in regards to the electronic pays on the minimum ballot or the minimum payments. Just curious on some of the background and it was the first time I heard when when you pass out the minutes uh, from uh, uh, to the council on the last meeting, we've always thought we were responsible for partnering with you in this parking lot deal to take care of our costs and we've got a kind of liability to the board. Turn it over to Joe if he wants to. So it's part of this. <clears throat> It was uh, 16 years on the scholarship, basically, and we, we, we were grateful to honor the scholarship. It was 6 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning in the restaurants and the bars. I think it was awesome. Okay. But now, since we got with the pandemic, we've been giving back to the community over and over every, every year, which is the right thing. That's what we do. So we felt it was time for us to uh, that six day period, which and the reason that was, uh, that was done because we saw the switch. The restaurant owners would even agree to that. We have seen that the lunch crowd is just about non existent, but the dinner crowd coming in at 5 30, quarter to six is packed. Packed, Lot 2 is packed, Pigman Street's packed, Jackal of Lot's packed, they're all packed. We felt that it was time for us to be part of that agreement. Okay, let's say, listen, we need to help now. It's not like a bill you're passing in the Senate. They say, hey, listen, it's not necessary. We'll, we'll get it back after a number of years. It's, it's just now is the time for us to do this properly. So you said the restaurants were all in agreement to it? Or? All the restaurants have been notified. Okay, but we have one of the biggest restaurants. Have. We have a letter with them today about that it will have no impact at all on their business because they serve food that people come to eat in Bridgeville. They're serving, as well as Nick's restaurant, charging Pittsburgh prices in Bridgeville, which is fine. But Joe, how many businesses did you cut? All of them. By now? I mean, we, 73. Okay. And what was the feedback from? Businesses. It was a positive, on the most part, a positive feedback. People you know, didn't like didn't like it, but they understood. It. They, you know, they understood that we need to do what we need to do to sustain. It. Yeah. You I'm confused. How is didn't liking it a positive feedback? The whole statement was they understood what we had to do this to do what we've been doing. Okay. That is possible. Um, and the biggest hitters in town are the ones that really were in agreement with this, this particular point. Um, so, and you have 45 spaces of the Tambolini's, and you have 15 spaces on the side of your lot. So, well, I'm not here for me, sir. I'm here for our community. I want to we're, all, we're all here for the community. I'm just explaining to Joe's question about why we did it. Okay. It was time to be done. 16 years. Get your chance. Yeah. Okay. So it, it was just we felt it was absolutely time to do it, and that's why in a public forum we did it. We did it. Is it worth being able to have a public forum and just announcing it at the council meeting? Just out of curiosity. Well, sure. Did you did you feel that it maybe you could have? I can't hear it. 
Sure. Did, did you feel that it was uh, doing it in a public forum, coming to a council meeting to announce it as well? Well, the council knew about it. Because I it didn't know about it. It was on the website first of June. Okay, I didn't know about it. That's how we communicate basically through the website. We get all the information from the borough on the website. You can use that while you want to finish. You know what? We, we did, when we had some mics, we did get your meetings. We got them for the April minutes we got in our June packet for our June meeting, which was after you guys voted for. So I'm just questioning. I would have thought that if you're going to be up front with the restaurants, be up front with the whole borough and come to a council meeting to announce it, that we're going to be doing these increases. We found out, I guess, the day of that you put up the changes on the signs. Is council opposed to this? Uh, to be honest, I think it's a communication thing. I, I, that, to be honest, the reason I'm here is to understand why there was the increase. It's not opposed or I need information to understand why you did it. And I had no idea why you did it. So that's, that's exactly why I'm here for the, the public meeting to find out why. Okay, so that's what you the answers you received so far. So, I'm, I'm very happy to talk to the restaurants because that was my biggest concern. As you stated, the meeting. Yeah, yeah, that was my biggest concern is the you businesses that are there. there. Keep track of and I, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that you did because those are the people that are going to impact the most. So, as long as they knew, then I, I'm satisfied with that part. Absolutely. But again, this is fact finding today just to find out what. What the reasoning was, and you said that it was a 16-year scholarship, meaning you gave the restaurant six to eight o'clock. Is that what you meant by that? Six o'clock to two o'clock. Free parking. Free parking. Now the laws weren't fixing themselves after that, so it wasn't being removed for free after that either. Okay, so we had to pay to use those lots. Those were real lots. So I think after 16 years, we it was great for that. We, sure. It really was great. Sure. It will be great again. It will be great again. And what was the reason for the 150% increase on the electronic version? Uh, was going it from a dollar to two fifty. No. The, uh, the minimum. The minimum used to be when we were saying here there were five months ago. I was under the impression that although it was seventy five cents an hour, the minimum credit card payment was two dollars. And for that, I think it's a dollar, or it was a dollar because I used it. No, I'm using Tango. You're talking the little Yeah. Is there a difference between Tango and using the machine? Back then yeah. there was. Back then there was. Okay. Now there's not. So if you use the machine, it was two dollars. And then if you use Tango, it was a dollar. Yeah, on the on the app. Yes, for an app. Plus, for the two dollars, you got two hours. So. Like if you paid coinage, you got a dollar for when you put the quarter in. It was like 10, right. 10 minutes, whatever. But if you had your your first, so it was two dollars, that you got two hours for that two dollars automatically. Right. So if somebody's going to bridge all pipes for fifteen minutes, it right. two dollars. Yes, yes. Like unless that. unless you pay a quarter. You you can always put a coin in. I mean that's always the option. Like I've never. Use a credit card or a Pango app ever, unless I was in the city and you're forced to, and then I get my friend to do it. <laughs> um, you know, so I don't use my credit card or my phone like that. So, yeah, I mean, I've gone places and put just 50 cents in, okay. in Bridgeville um, because I think it's a waste of money. I yeah, think, no, I, I, it I, is. Well, it's a waste of money that the credit card companies and Pango and all the other people that we have to pay on the back end are making that money. Just like, you know what I mean? I'm not a big fan of that. If it was a waste of money, why did you do that app in the, the trade card? No, I mean, me personally, I don't want to pay that, so I pay cash. Okay. That's me personally. I don't want to patronize the credit card companies. No, I have, that's, that's my personal, how I okay. run my personal thing. I would never put my credit card into a parking meter. If that was your thinking, what was the reasoning when putting it out there? Because so, because, 
Uh, as I recall, many, many years ago, well, when did we change it to be able to ask? Well, a lot of people that's wanted it. They all, they all wanted to go away from coinage. I mean, that's one of the people that had to rip the, the coin meters out of the, I mean, I literally went and did that, you know, because that supposedly was the way of the times. We sure. were supposed to be in 1950 anymore. Yeah. You know, I'm like, hey, I have a credit card. I use it. Well, I just that, it was just a question. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying. Everybody in the community seemed to want it. They wanted to be able to, hey, this is a credit card, I have leases. And they pay everything with us. Yeah, and, and, and they pay everything with a debit card or a credit card. I don't do that. Okay. So no, I, I personally don't do it because sure, sure, sure. everybody wanted to do it. Oh, I, absolutely. I'm sure it does. I mean, people go to a gas station now and put a, put a Coke, if they're allowed to, we'll put a Coca Cola on their credit card. So, so back to the, the dollar to 250 So. I had that wrong. If you use the machine, it was a, a $2. dollar, two dollars. Two, two dollars. If I used my, my Tango app, it was a dollar. For one hour. Plus the service charge, thirty-five cents. Okay. And so then we moved everything up to two fifty. Yes, for two and a half. Hours. Two and a half for two and a half hours. So, so, so dollar now. Right. So if you went to La Bella Bean just to get a coffee, you had to pay two. Or point. Or, or, or point. So, yeah. so that's more of an education. Hey, if you want to go to a Bell Bean, bring some coins to use a machine for a minimal amount of time. Exactly. So, so additional information for you uh, that when we changed over, okay, the state was made, no one carries coins. Got right there and told us. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, you know, I, I mean, from the municipalities that I work with, with they, they, they don't even pay somebody to go pick up a coin anymore. So and I, I hear that. I, right, but we, have that. we have 50% of our revenue in those machines is not through coin. Oh, that's it's interesting. That's a high amount. Yes, it is. It is. Okay. Because people do care. Right. Because you know, a lot of people, I think, are like. Oops. Well, they only want to pay the 15 minutes. So I can yes. see that. Right. Now, you said that the reason for financial reasons. Is everything okay in regards to the parking authority? Mm -hmm. So this is just a, in anticipation of issues coming up with the increases or it just was time to... Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Right. Well, I, I've heard he wants a lot of money. Yeah. All right, I'll let, I'll let other people, I'm not going to share my career. Thanks, Joe. I think I'm up next. Yeah. Um, Joe asked a lot of questions I think we all had, and we got confronted with it in house meeting, right? So this was a very, this was an informant, you know, informant seeking session. We want to collaborate with you guys, and I'm sure you know. But kind of stops here. We 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 answer to the complaints. We get complaints, you know, about the cost. Um, you know, now the change of time. I think all we're really looking for is, is more collaboration in terms of communication. This kind of a meeting would have gone a long way in front of the public, like in front of our council meeting. So I, I encourage you, and I you know I urge you come to our meetings. We prepare for a British We urge you to come here. I understand. I'm not telling you. We're little, you know it. I should still know it. I've watched all your meetings. Yes. Over the years. Most of the people don't come here to, to, to complain. They come to the park to complain. We handle the complaints. The, the complaints are these. I'm not talking about our meetings. We, we, we get them on the street like you guys do, right? So, listen, we're on the street. Okay? We tell the people. We talk to the people. So we walk through, try to get through there about it. Hey, I said, look. But they understand where we are. We say we're going to be changing from six to eight. What they say. Right. I, I, I approach multiple people and they look at the sign and then they would be paying at five to six. And I said, oh, by the way, we're going to 8 o'clock very soon. I said, okay, thanks for letting us know. Thanks for letting me know. It really hasn't been negative feedback there. They understand. 
patrons are getting double hit. Like you said, we are raising prices based on food costs that are being raised. It's becoming more and more difficult for the common patron to come into our community and spend money here. Now that's how we all make money. That's how we get funded, that's how the railroad gets funded. By taxing them, essentially, by charging them more, these costs, it's making it a little bit more difficult to bring in some of those patrons that we typically have. Now I do understand what you're doing, and I do appreciate it. I don't want you to think it. But it was a little disheartening. When, um, and I may have misunderstood Gino, but my understanding was that June 21st, you were going to vote for that. Um, that's why I had written down my notes. I mean, maybe that's the enactment date, was today's date, and not the date you were voting on. So I do apologize. That may have been my misunderstanding. But um, I, I wonder, and I, I think Joe and Bill touched on it both very adequately and very passionately that we do need better communication. I, I'm sorry to have stopped when you said online. Uh, we share these chairs together. We share this room together. We need to be able to sit down together. Maybe one of you come to our meeting every week. One of us comes to do it every week. There needs to be better communication. This is, it seems like a very acceptable request that we're communicating right now. I'm glad we are. Uh, it seems like it's been quite some time since there's been that hand-in-hand -hand relationship that I think we do need going forward because there are changes coming to Bridgeport. There definitely are economic changes, and new businesses coming, and new leaders growing in our community. And I think we can continue to better ourselves and better each one of our authorities and boroughs if we continue to work together. So I do appreciate you guys, and thank you for the time to speak. Um, moving forward, though, I, I know for me, I had the opportunity to sit down with Gino, but nothing was really sent to I think we need to do a little bit better job communicating that. I look forward to that. Even if it's through myself, I can relay the message. I'd love to do that. Maybe I just need to do this thank you this time. So thank you guys, I appreciate the time. Council. We don't have a battle between the businesses and the parking authority. We've got a community. All of us together. I understand that there may be some thoughts of the communication is an issue. That may be part of it. But I have to tell you, I'm here today at this moment because I was I found out, yes, there is a parking authority meeting tonight. And so I did walk out in the rain to come down. I can tell you that the business community has no desire to come down and complain because they don't believe that their complaints will result in significant, and I'm using those words big, significant change. They understand that the process that you're using may need them to pay their customers to pay more money. I'm here to point out again that the process you're using is detrimental to the economics of our community. It's destructive. That is not intentional. Each and every one of you, including the people who work, Joe and Gino, care deeply about our community. They care about our businesses. They want our businesses to survive and thrive. Unfortunately, the process that you're using is destructive. You, you say you put in the kiosks and the pango to help because people didn't have orders, they wanted options. Yes, you're correct. That's why you <clears throat> took those efforts, because we're saying we don't want the meters. It wasn't just that we don't want the meters. We don't want to have our customers go through the difficulty of trying to figure out how to navigate your process. 
mean, think about that for a moment. People were out here, oh, is it 250? Is it 150? Is it a dime? Is it a quarter? It isn't the money. It is the inconvenience. It is the inconvenience. Our competition at the shopping centers do not have that inconvenience. They do. No, they don't. I, I disagree. Well, then please enlighten me. You take, you take Joe's back. Okay. In his rent. In his rent is the parking. Agreed. Yes. It, so it, does. it does have a cost to his bank. Absolutely it has a cost to his bank. There is no such thing as free parking. There is no question. If anyone believes that there is such a thing as free, free, as in it just magically appeared parking, it does not exist. Parking costs money. Asphalt costs money. Snow removal costs money. But guess what? The majority of the parking authority's budget is not spent on asphalt and snow removal. The majority of the parking authority's budget is spent on staffing to abuse our customers. And this is, by the way, meant in the most kind way. So, you have to do your job. You have a job to do, right? You don't do it meanly. You're nice people. But we pay. The majority of the parking authority budget. I am correct, am I not? That is not, that is the majority, the major, the big one. What is it? Yeah, it's the big number. It is to pay people to write tickets for our customers. That's who gets the abuse. Because they don't can't figure out how to handle the parallax on the on the machine or figure out whether it's the credit card or whatever it is. Okay? Now, Mike, you say that at Joe's Bank people pay for parking. The customers don't. I pull in, I pull right out. I get out of my car, I don't think about it. how much is the parking here. When I go to see Joe, I'm going to say, Joe, how much do I owe you for the parking? Next time you go in, go in at Joe's desk will make $250. Exactly. And you know what, Joe, how many, you've never said to me if I come to your bank, you've never said to me, hey, could you drop down like a dollar fifty? Because I need to defray the expense of the parking. You didn't even think about doing that. Right? <laughs> it's just not done that way. I park and he absorbs the cost. Now I'm trying to point out to the whole parking authority and council that that is a better method and a less costly method. It's less costly for this for the consumer because it's not monetarily. You got to cover the same asphalt, but it's less costly for the consumer if you don't try and get it. A dollar at a time. Which, by the way, I hear you, you don't need to raise it, and you don't need to expand the hours. I understand your position, I accept it, but I don't want to let the moment pass without saying, no, you don't really need to do that. Having said that, you don't need to collect parking a dollar at a time. You don't need to do it that way. There are other ways. There are other ways. I have talked to you many, several times about other ways of collecting for parking. You could allow people, customers, to park for a limited amount of time without having to pay. Hmm. It is a possibility. You would have to yeah. generate, you would have to yeah. generate. Yeah. No, you haven't. From 6 o'clock on. Yes, from 6 o'clock on is for free. Now from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock, it's free. Right, and at 2 in the morning, it's free. Except for the people that are really parked there at 2 in the morning. Because a lot of them have permits, right? I'm talking about 8 o'clock in the morning. I understand. 10 o'clock in the morning. Great. So, that's free parking. The people that need to have that parking, the developing customers, coffee people, people that are going to the dentist early. So, if, early. if I go to the dentist at 8 o'clock in the morning, and I get out of there by 9, I'm okay. But you're not by 10, you're fine. If I'm out by 10, no, the parking be, oh, well, I'm sorry, now we're at 10, sorry. Okay. So I gotta remember that. i remember that. Right. I can't tell you how many clients sit in my office worried more about their parking meter than about their federal income tax. 
Wow, really? Yes, really. Awesome. It's surprising to me. It's shocking. It is shocking. I pass it on to you because it is true. I will have someone there. I know the money. I, I don't know. Are we going to be? They're worried about their their parking ticket. People don't like to get parking tickets. People don't like to pay for parking. People don't like to be hassled. And they, so they don't like, can we all agree to that? That people really don't like to be hassled? They don't like to go through? Who's getting hassled? Who's getting don't. hassled? We're not hassling anybody. Well, certainly the gamble is this. The gamble is this. We have more signs than the breeze would have. Okay? Mm -hmm. We have more signs than the breeze We're going to change it into a bridge with wood. Uh, wood. Uh -huh. They still don't pay attention. So the gamble they take when they come onto our property, mm -hmm. we own the property. Yes. So if they, if they if they don't pay the park, uh -huh. they're going to get a ticket potentially. Yes. Okay. It's like going to the casino. You don't win every time, right. right? They take that gamble, they lose the gamble. So that's the way it works. Yes. Okay. So it's did, did, there's, no, there's no hassle. Yes, there is a hassle there. The entire the entire process. Is a hassle. Let's start at the beginning. Let, let's start. Let's take the process from its beginning. I drive into town to come and see. I don't know. Let's say I drive into town and see Captain Lazio. Why not use myself as an example? I mean, you know, at, at this point, I'm, I'm I'm one person that they come to see. So for me, they come maybe once a year. They come into town. They figure out where the lot is and they pull in the lot. And they look. And there are signs everywhere. There's signs for lots of things. And they try and figure out as best they can what they should do. Well, they're looking. Should they pay the 250 with the credit card? Well, at least we have options now. Thank you. There are lots of options. They can put in a dollar, they can put in a quarter, they can put in a credit card, they can use Pango, they can use Park. Or mobile, or mobile. Uh, this uh, task. I am so grateful. You guys have put in all three. The options are tremendous. It's a positive. It's good that you have options. I, not, uh, not, 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 I'm being straightforward. It's, it's, a, it's a good thing that you have options. But as a person that's coming to see Papalazio, I have to figure out which option I'm going to use. Am I going to? Am I going to pay the credit card company two fifty? Am I going to think about that? Look at all the discussion time I'm having right now to go through this process. I have to figure out how to use the machine. Oh wait, I got to get my license plate. I've got to put it in. Did the machine work? Do I have this app? Do I not? Is it is it time for parking? Is it ten o'clock or is it not? When does it stop? Does it run? I have to think about all that stuff. Then I, if I'm successful. I have paid for parking, and I have now got to decide how long I have to pay for it. Am I going to pay for an hour, or is Pat going to run late today? Am I going to pay for two? I've now made all of these decisions, and I now go in to see Pat. And I tell Pat, you know, I couldn't figure out the machine. Do you think I might get a ticket? Well, I don't know. Look, Let's worry about your tax return right now. Well, let's worry about the financial decisions you want to try and talk about and think about. Your retirement, whatever it happens to be. This is why I put a time limit on Okay. Look, if you don't, I understand. I point out to you that you haven't been blessed by my presence for many months now. Okay. And if you don't want to look at improving the process, that's okay too. You know what? I'm going to sign up and you're off and she'll take care of any five seconds. No, no, really? You think that that's a good solution? You can pay for them. Sure, that help with living expenses. Yeah, we've, we've thought about trying to figure out, hey, not just the fines. And by the way, we've, we've, we've been faced with that situation many times. Okay? We've been faced with that. You know what, Pat? Yeah. There was a beautiful older woman, Corey, in Pennsylvania, who drove down. Mm -hmm. Okay. She got a ticket. She came over, okay, sat down with us, mm -hmm. in the process, and told us all about why she always drives. I said, "Look, well, based on career." Mm -hmm. Okay. So we, we do the same locations. 
And her comment was this. It's worth paying. Okay, to come see Pat Okay. Now, what did he do that Thank you. It's yeah. very nice. Maybe some year old woman that drives all the way to see you. <laughs> <laughs> but, so the, the, that's the other. The back side of this is that you know, no one you know, says you're not supposed to tout what you do for others. Okay. So we don't tout what we do for other people that no one in this room needs to know about because it's, 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 a, it's a good way to do it. Okay. Canes and we deliver the people that need them in, in, in yeah. town. Uh, How I started, I started my point to, of, of saying to you, there is not a person here who is not trying. But you're saying that this is, they're paying more attention to the parking ticket than the federal income tax. Yes. Listen. Look at the lady you talk to. Okay. I mean, it's not, Joe, I'm not trying to be sexist. Okay. 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 You are trapped in a system that does not work well. It works very well. Well, if you believe that, and if that's what council believes, then enjoy. And I understand, and I would point out to all of you, I would point out to all of you that very few of you are truly involved. I think I'm looking around the room, and frankly, the only people I see that actually are in this system or Mr. Krzyzewski's business, and mine. You've sort of burned out anybody else coming down to try and help you to change it to make it work. So you're talking to each other, and you think you got it. I'm here to tell you it doesn't work. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate your time. I, I understand. I'm talking about who's sitting here right now. Who's okay. next? I think I was the last one. Oh, sure. I just had one question looking at your minutes. Uh, I know it's like first quarter of this year, you guys lost twelve thousand dollars basically. Was that all the way through a pandemic like that? Losing money like that? It was. Yes. Yeah. No one comes no one comes to town. Right. We have well, revenue, so I understand that. And we and, did I mean for three months. Yeah, for three months we did get free parking during the pandemic. Right. Bill, I sent Bill an information sheet on a regular basis. When we, we were giving out warnings, when we started the ticket again, months at a time, no tags at all. No, no one was here. So. And another thing I want to add, I've been coming to these meetings off and on for like 20 years. 20 years ago, it was the same thing. People pitching money about paying and whatnot. There are other options. Pat want to take care of his customers. He could at least five or six spots across the street at the MC Bank and put them in there. As far as birds and those people, they want to buy those parking lots and take care of them themselves, like the shop instead of the pay with Then you pass them on to your, your customers. I mean, you guys have got a top job. I understand that. I, mean, I would be upset. I saw this too because it was quick. That's the first time I saw it too. But I think the only real fix for our problem, Joe, is Bob Fryer's fault. So he's paid pressing our help with a new parking lot. That eliminates the problem. Right? Because Fryer got stuck there and couldn't get out of my parking lot. Sat there for 15 minutes waiting for the truck. So now if there was a hole in the right. Can I just say one thing, please? I'm the guy on the street, okay? I'm the one talking to the people. I'm the one helping the people. I've been doing this 20 months now, and I've gotten to know people. I encourage them if they come late to pay with points. You know, do the right thing. I want to do the right thing for them. I really have not got any much negativity at all that you see. Not at all. People are great out there. They get it. They do get it, Beth. I mean, I, and I talk to them. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm Joe knows. I'm a talkative guy. I'm a personal guy. I meet the people. I talk to. Them. Hey, where are you? I'll keep it short. It's. I don't think it's as big of an issue as people make it out to be. That's all I'm going to say. You know, if I because there's two things I'd like to readdress. Do you know you are correct? 
you're nice. For the most part, I know that each of you and all of us have our days and our moments, but you try. I'm not, I'm not looking at you and saying you're doing something bad. I'm not looking at the parking authority and you're doing something bad. And I'm not looking at counsel and saying you're I'm trying to say that we're in a system that is not working. And I would get south to say to, to, to Joe, Joe Quaswell, Joe, I think that that's a great idea. I didn't know that we could, you know, pick up two parking spaces at the lot across the street. I'd love to do that. I'd love to pay for two parking spaces. I have no problem doing that. Okay? I, and by the way, Mike, I know that doesn't work as two undivided parking spaces. That when you divide, I know that there are some logistics to it. Okay? So I've looked at that process, and that process does not work nearly as well as just trying to, 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 re, to reset the system. But Joe, that's the discussion that needs to happen. It's the discussion about how can we manage this? How can birds, how can we? Get a model that works for our customers. How can we put implement that model? We How have, can we do we it? Have a, we have a model. Okay. Little, yes, we do. No, no, the new model that you don't know about. Oh, tell me. I'm not going to tell you about it because you're not a restaurant owner, right? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not a restaurant owner. You're not in the restaurant business, right? Okay. No, one that's the biggest concern we have is the restaurants. Okay. Okay. Is, it, is that right? The biggest concern is the yeah. restaurants. I small businesses. Yeah. Small businesses. Okay. So yeah, everybody's so good. So we, we, we have a program that we're working with. And you'll soon hear about it. Okay. You'll, you'll, be, you'll be invited to the meeting we're going to have. Are you talking about the pango thing with the back with the back pay off the menu? No. Okay. I, I don't know. You're not telling me about it. Okay. The, the, the point is you know, we're going we're gonna to work it so that it's a, we're improving the system. Okay, we're going we're gonna to set up a we're taking all the machines out, okay, we're going to set up a, like this turn back commission does. Okay? You pull in the lot, okay. you got to pay. If you don't pay, you can't get out. Okay, I think that's a great system. Is that, not great? Is that a great system or what? Uh, yeah. Gates is, no, nobody's bothering anybody. You pull in, you got to pay. It's our uh, property, you got to pay. I can't pay. pay. If someone pulls into your, part, into your driveway, you lose your car. I point out that everything that you said is our property several times. I point out that it's the community's problem. Chris? Okay. Thanks. I need a second. Okay. Anybody else have anything else? Thank you for your attendance. $13,992.94. Our expenses were $17,658.94 for a loss of $3,665.99. So we're still in the hole. $48,000. Uh, Alright, public works. Okay, uh, Webbs, uh, the street line painting has been completed. Okay. Um, all the decals and signs for the new local lot park will have been installed. And some for uh, passport. Uh, the bollards for lot one. Lock off that exit there up for in process. Uh, the tree trimming, the tree and bush trimming lot two was completed. 
we did send uh, Bill to Tarbuck for a portion of that because the one portion was his. It was just laying all over the vehicle and needed to be cleaned up, and that's done. And we did receive the quote for the removal of the two items. We put on the lot one. We had that up there. And uh, do you want to elaborate on that a little bit? Or, uh, okay, all right. So, yeah, that's, awesome. that's all for public works. Getting several calls, the normal calls about where is this banner, and where is this banner. It's a question I have for you. So, when we originally started the banner program nine years ago, okay, we wanted to have a PC, PCP piece around it, so we'd fly a trail. No. What, what we asked for originally was two, like they have in South Fed, because when they came and talked to us from South Fed, we told them if you want to keep your banners nice for a while and not have to replace them, put two, one the top, one the bottom, keeps them from flying all over. Uh, at, at that time, they decided one, which is what we used. We'd be able to see the difference between the two. What? Nobody wanted PPC. PPC. No, nobody wanted PPC. So, someday if we get some extra money, we we'll make it hard for the bottom, and that keeps them nice and straight, and they don't fly and rub. Are they wearing? Yes, a number of them are wearing. We were. We were. We were. We were. We were. We were. At no cost to the. People who purchased them originally, it was nice enough, I believe. It the was great citizens uh, and great really business went to businesses and asked them for, for donations to help so that the people who originally bought them did not have to replace the ones that actually go on the original Park Streets and that at no cost to them or to us, thanks to the businesses. We were able to replace what, over 100 that we needed it? Almost 300. 300 Since the inception of it? Yeah, this year, we had Well, 48 this year, but it's been 300. The 300 were yeah. last year. I mean, uh, it didn't go Nine years? Nine years. And how much from that extra mark cost? Um, well, it was they made them thing. downstairs at that time. Yeah. They welded them up. Uh, I don't know, and we, we can certainly find out what what uh, South Bay had paid for. For those, if you happen to see one, look at it. They've got two, and they're just attached to the pole like we attach ours on this. Do me a favor, find that one. Okay. And how many? How many? You know, many that? You know, right now, it's hard to keep track. That'd be another thing that would be great. Just find out the cost. If the good. guys were, they were hanging them, they marked down, or they're hanging them where they are. Okay, because we used to track them. Okay, now we can't track them. Because it's, it's too much. Yeah. It'll never be too many. They field a lot of calls on where's my banner. Yeah. Um, the Boy Scouts, if you remember, it was your grandson or your uh, nephew. And uh, he went around the map that we have a program where he can walk up, clip, 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 and then it goes to the website. Right. But now, with the, you know, the pandemic and with these kids getting older and there ain't too many of them want to walk, so. we put out a a feeler at a couple of churches to see if maybe they wanted their youth group to do it. And that would put it back on there and people could look at the, the website. So, if you hear anybody that wants a project, let us know. Are, you, are the banners set up to use the second model? Do they have the pattern? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're just all okay. made that way standard. You just have to get the extra purchase of it. There's a slide on the bottom as well. That's all I'm asking. Yeah. Yeah. They're popping and popping. Yeah, I mean, Gina and Rich and Joe take care of all that. Of course, it's our maintenance. It's the borough's maintenance department. What's a month to do that? Um, in that regard. But. Well, that's the I have no reason. Okay. Uh, 
some of the videos. Okay. I'd like to adjourn.